The Indus Valley, 4000 to 1800 BC. The early peoples of the Indian subcontinent lived on the banks of the Ganges and the Indus rivers. The first civilization sprang up in the Indus Valley, now in Pakistan. The two largest cities of the Indus Valley around 2000 BC were Monhenjo Daro and Harappa, each with around 40,000 people. They were among the world's largest cities at the time. At the center of each lay an artificial mound, which served as a citadel. On this mound stood a large granary, which, to the population, served as a kind of central bank. These forgotten cities were only discovered in the 1920s. City layout. Around this city, the central buildings were arranged in a grid pattern. Administration, buildings, market, storage areas, workshops, houses, and temples. Each house was built around a courtyard and had rooms, a toilet, and a well. Buildings were made from mud bricks baked into the wood-fired ovens. The citadel at Mohenjo Daro was had a bathhouse, as well as private and public baths and meeting places. Farmers and crafts workers. Among other crops, the farmers of the Indus Valley grew barley, wheat, cotton, melons, and dates. Elephants and water buffalo were tamed to work the fields. The area had many skilled potters who used wheels for th throwing pots, a new technology at the time. Harappans used stone tools and made knives, weapons, bowls, and figures in bronze. They had an advanced system of waste disposal that included the building of covered drains and the installation of garbage chutes. The end of, of a civilization. No one knows who the people of the Indus Valley were or where they came from. We do not understand their writing either. The area had similarities to Sumer, but also major differences. The city dwellers traded with the cities of Sumer. They also traded with the tribes people of India and Central Asia. The Indus Valley civilization lasted 800 years, but came to an end around 3,700 years ago. No one knows why it ended, but there are possible causes. Floods, disease, a breakdown in trade, the economy, or civil disorder, immigration, or takeover by the Aryans who moved into India from Central Asia. All trace of the cities lay buried under sand until they were rediscovered in the 1920s.